Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are going to be going through my favorite perfumes for the summer. I did this last year, so I'm going to try and pick different perfumes, but I do this every season for perfume, nail polish, and eyeshadow palettes. So if you have not seen those videos, I will link them down below. But this is the summer version for perfume. So I wanted to pick 10, or I normally do, but I may have gone over, but we will discuss that. If you are new here, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos, and let's get started. So I did put all the perfumes over here. I did get new display pieces. I think they're spice racks, and they actually still have the stickers on them because I wanted to see if they worked first, but I just haven't removed the sticker. So I tried to put everything here that is for this season or seasons but it's hard for me because I really like fruity, floral, and sweet fragrances, and those are the ones I think of for summer. So it was really hard for me to narrow it down, but I wanted to kind of put everything here because all of these would really be considered good summer perfumes, but I just wanted to talk about this bottom layer and then a couple rollerballs and purse sprays over here. But I pulled these, in the second row, these are the ones I talked about last year and are still valid, like Dolce & Gabbana's Lamb Patrice is like the perfect summer fragrance. It's straight watermelon, so that's a good summer one. Um, Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue is another classic for summer, and then my favorite is Escada Turquoise Summer. I think this is just a really, really nice fragrance in general, but it's really good for summer. It's got that raspberry or that berry note, just very, very fruity and very bright. So that makes it perfect for summer. But I want to talk about this bottom row because I did not talk about these last year. So I just want to kind of add them to my list of summer fragrances. And I do have my notebook right here. So I'm going to list out the notes for you because we all know I'm terrible with notes. This first one here is Jimmy Choo Blossom. I love the packaging on here. I love the ombre with the crystal top. This is an EDP and the notes at the top are citrus and raspberry. The middle are sweet pea and rose and then the base is sandalwood and white musk. I actually haven't worn this in a very long time. This is very, very bright. It is sweet, but it's a different kind of sweet. It is pretty floral, but you do get that citrus note and the raspberry. This is so pretty. It's really nice for summer, again, because it is very light and bright, so it is good for the hot weather. And again, with that citrus note, of course. Summer is citrus. <laughs> this next one is one of my newest fragrances. This is Ellie Saab, Girl of Now Forever which I did get from TJ Maxx. This is an EDP. Any notes of this are raspberry, lemon peel at the top, almond, blackcurrant, rose, and orange blossom at the middle, and then vanilla, patchouli, cashmere, and musk, which, you know, I love vanilla and, vanilla, <laughs> vanilla and patchouli. Mix between vanilla and patchouli, vanilla. This is stronger on the patchouli, vanilla, and the musk. You still get the black currant and the raspberry and the almond. So this one is a little bit deeper than Jimmy Choo Blossom. That's definitely more fruity and more bright, but I think this one is still good for summer because you do get that fruitiness and that slight citrus with the lemon peel, but it's not overpowering. This one is just gorgeous. This one sinks into the skin nicely and it just smells so beautiful. It gets a little bit more sultry, I guess, on the skin. More of the almond comes out and it's just so good. This is kind of like a night summer fragrance, I guess. Next up is Kate Spade Twirl, which the name is not on the bottle anywhere, which is very, very weird. <laughs> But this is, I wrote EDF, which is not a thing. So what was it supposed to be? It's an EDP. <laughs> okay. The notes of this are watermelon, red currant, blackberry at the top, magnolia, African orange flower, tiari flower, and jasmine at the middle, and then sweet notes and musk at the base. So this I haven't sprayed in a while either, so I feel like I need to spray it. So this one is definitely more floral than the other ones. 
you still get the fruitiness of the watermelon and the blackberry, but I definitely think it's more floral than the other two. You definitely get that magnolia. So if you're not into floral fragrances, then you might not like this one. I would go towards the other two, but this is still a really nice one for the summer. This is probably a good one for the spring too, because it is more of a fruity floral fragrance, but it's still really, really nice. This next one, I don't think I've talked about before, possibly. This is one of my favorites in my entire collection. This is Daisy Love Oh So Sweet by Marc Jacobs. I love this packaging. This is the sweetest fragrance, sweetest fragrance in his line, I'm pretty sure. This is an EDT, which is actually pretty surprising because this is fairly strong. The notes of this are raspberry, bergamot, and blackberry at the top, jasmine, daisy at the middle, and then sugar, white iris, musk, and woodsy at the base. This one is very, very sweet. It's very tart sweet. So this is like pretty much smelling a raspberry right out of the plastic tub. Very, very fruity, very, very, very sweet. This is like raspberry sugar. Yeah, it's like raspberry sugar. So this is like a raspberry dessert. If you do not like sweet fragrances, 100% do not buy this because this is one of the sweetest fragrances is my in my entire collection, but it's very tart sweet. So it's kind of like sweet tart sweet, I would say. Kind of similar to the tart sweet tart <laughs> perfume, but I think this one is even sweeter. This is more tart, I guess. This can be a little headachey if you are sensitive to scents, so definitely keep that in mind too but I love that one so, so much. Okay, these two are kind of honorable mentions because they're mists and not perfumes, but we're still gonna talk about them, so I'm gonna put that down. So these are both from Sol de Janeiro. These are their fragrance mists. They have one other one or two other ones that I don't have, but we are just gonna talk about these. <laughs> this first one is Brazilian Crush, the Chirosa 62 scent, and this is the scent of the Boom Boom Cream. Ugh, this is like coconut, Vanilla. Mm. This is like the Summer Gods made a fragrance and that is what they put in this bottle. Same with Boom Boom Cream. It's so freaking good. I want to douse myself, my entire body in this fragrance. This is perfect for summer. Kind of get that suntan lotion-y tanning oil vibe, but it's not, I don't know, you don't get that like musky scent too. It's just so good. Like this is like spray it on myself before I go to the beach and I want my entire body to smell like that. And then this other one is Chirosa 40. So this is the same scent as the Bon Dia Bright Cream, which is their newest one. And I think this, well, this is their newest scent. So the notes on here are Black Amber Plum and Vanilla Woods. It actually has it on here. And that's exactly what it is. This is Plum and Vanilla. The only other strong perfume plum perfume I have is the Marc Jacobs Decadence, which is definitely deeper than this. It is more of a plum, whereas this is a mix of plum and vanilla. Mm, it's so good. <laughs> this is definitely more of a night fragrance too, just because you have like the deepness and richness of the plum. Come on, close. It's still so good. I still really like it for summer. And now we are moving on to the roller balls and purse sprays. I don't know why I picked all of them up. The first one is Ralph Lauren Midnight Romance. Let's find the notes. This is an EDP, and the notes of this are raspberry, lychee, bergamot at the top, peony, freesia, jasmine, sandback at the middle, and iris, vanilla, and ambroxan at the base. This is another sweet one. This is a sweet, fruity fragrance. You do get some floral note, but you, so you do get the peony. So it's not really a white floral scent, at least in my opinion, but you get the raspberry. It seems like a lot of these have raspberry in them. That is apparently my summer scent is raspberry. But this one, oh, it's so good. It smells really good on your skin. This is a good all year round fragrance actually because it's not too tart. It's very feminine, very fruity and sweet. Definitely recommend that one. 
One of my newest fragrances is Valentino Donna Born in Roma. I just love this packaging. This is another EDP. The notes of this are black currant, pink pepper, bergamot at the top, jasmine, sandbag at uh, jasmine, jasmine tea, a lot of jasmine at the middle, and then bourbon, vanilla, cashmere, and guaiac wood at the base. So this one, I smell black currant and bourbon vanilla. Mm. This is like scrumptious. That's what this is. It is so delicious. I just got it up my nose. I don't care. It is delicious. I want to eat this fragrance. This and like Dolce & Gabbana, the only one, the only one, are two fragrances that I absolutely love. They both smell absolutely delicious. I want to eat both of them. Mm. So this is another one that is good all year round. It's not necessarily one for summer, but it still works perfectly for summer. I would pick this up more so in summer and spring than fall and winter, but you can definitely get away with it in fall and winter as well. Next is another new one to me. This is Giorgio Armani's My Way. This is another EDP. The notes of this are orange blossom, bergamot at the top, tuberose, Indian jasmine at the middle, and then white musk, Madagascar vanilla, and Virginian cedar at the base. So this one is, it, it's, they're just so different. This is sweet, but this is a floral sweet. You get the vanilla, but it's mixed with the florals, so it's not as deep as the Valentino one, but it's still a sweet floral. I don't know if I'd call this fruity. Well, it's not. Is there even any fruit? No, there's no fruit note in here. So it's not fruity. It is a sweet floral. This is another one that is good for spring as well. Might not work for fall and winter, but if you're like me and don't really care what season it is, you're just gonna wear whatever fragrance you want, then this would work. This is pretty much good for anybody. And then two last ones. So what does that make? Okay, so I was I was pretty close. This okay. This one is DKNY's Next Nectar Love. This is an EDP. The notes of this are grapefruit, mandarin, nectarine, yellow freesia at the top, jasmine, lily of the valley, mirabelle at the middle, and then beeswax, cedar, vanilla, musk, and aeroli at the base. So this is like straight nectarine. If you like the smell of nectarines or oranges, this is for you. And mixed with grapefruit. This is like a grapefruit orange. Perfect, perfect for summer. This is like you smell like a fruit bowl. <laughs> that is what this smells like. If you don't like fruitiness or tartness, you're not gonna like that, but it is perfect for summer. As I've said 8 million times, that is what this video, I almost said movie, that is what this video is about, but I'm going to keep saying that. And then this last one is Giorgio Armani's Sunday Gioia or Geo, I don't know how to say these. This may have been in my video last year, so maybe this will be like an honorable mention like the other ones, but I can't remember. I did check off the list, but I didn't remove the other roller ball, but I don't care because this is the most perfect summer fragrance ever. If you think of summer and what fragrance you should wear, go with this one. The notes of this, I literally only have four notes, are frangipani at the top, iris and amber at the middle, and then vanilla at the base. This one smells like suntan lotion. This is the beach. That is what this is. So if you want to wear perfume to the beach, I definitely would go with this one, or the Boom Boom Cream, or whatever, the Tarosa 62, or this one, which is Pinrose Secret Genius, which that definitely reminds me of the beach too. I talked about this last year. But this is more vanilla. It's definitely stronger on the vanilla, whereas this one like literally smells like suntan lotion. 100% recommend it for the summer. This one, probably not. You would not be able to wear this any other time of the year. Even I wouldn't, just because it smells like suntan lotion. Like why would I want to smell like suntan lotion in the middle of winter? I mean, it is Florida, so I do wear suntan lotion all year round because I am outside, <laughs> but that's besides the point. This is just the perfect summer scent. If you like suntan lotion, tanning oil scents, then this is perfect for that. So those are 10 or 11, whatever I said, perfumes for the summer. Most of these are daytime fragrances, but I did note some of them that are good for nighttime. 
but I love so many of these. I mean, this entire shelf I love for the summer or the spring back here. I have a couple up here that would also work. 75% of my collection would work for spring and summer because I love the fruity, floral, sweet fragrances, and that's what these are. So I really could have picked any of these, but I tried to narrow it down. So that was 11. Let me know what your favorite fragrances are to wear in the summer. If there are new ones you think I should pick up. I haven't really purchased new fragrances in a while. Well, I did pick up the rollerballs, but full sizes. If you think I would like any other fragrances for the summer, let me know. I would love to hear your favorites. But that completes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.